Welcome back guys. Appreciate you guys' views and likes and comments and keeping this channel going. Sorry I have not put out a lot of content lately. Uh, just been trying to get a lot of mix and a little handle on things. I've actually been doing some scouting for hunting for this upcoming season. I might film some hunting. I know I'm doing a lot of Instagram stuff for hunting, but uh, if you go to Matt Rhodes Fishing at Instagram or Fish Beard Outdoors and check them out. And, uh, but I think uh, I'm going to try to film, but it's probably going to be a disaster because I've never filmed and hunted. I really haven't hunted for like eight years because I've been doing nothing but fishing. And uh, getting back into it, it's going to be going to be a challenge because I came from a dog hunting background and now I'm going to go into still hunting and uh, tree stand hunting so it's going to be a big learning experience I'm going to try to film it so maybe you guys can learn from my, my mistakes but uh today we are out here fishing the golf course just like the good old days I've got my cast king set up going on it's the it's the I got the ninja color the bassinator going on with the spiral rod and I, I really like the stiffness of this rod i got 20 pound uh fluorocarbon on here and uh and so far we've had nothing but storm after storm come through and i'm sure that first day that storm came through the fish was the bite was on fire but uh, since it's been like a week or two and this, the, this is like the first sunny day that we've had and it is super sunny I'm trying to maybe give them a big snack to see if they like this big bluegill a bait, but if they don't, maybe top water here in the evening, maybe they're going to wait until it gets a little darker because it's a little bright outside. So hopefully I can get all that for you guys and get you guys a fish today. And maybe you guys will learn something today. I'm trying to learn something today because we got wind, it's choppy out there, I might do a spinner bait, chatter bait, it's good chatter bait conditions, so I might be sp switching to that soon. Um, the water clarity is like they just threw some algae side in the water so it's a little off but it's still clear to the fish so you really got to go natural or dark colors in that situation and it's super sunny so darker colors are a little bit better to me that's from my experience here in Florida but uh, I hope you guys enjoy if you guys got any questions or anything or tips uh, put them down in the uh, in the comments below maybe some camera tips for deer hunting or uh, I'm doing a lot of research, but maybe some tips for fishing. <laughs> I know I need more tips. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Be sure to like and comment and hit that bell to get some notifications for future content. I want to be trying to push out more content here before we lose uh, this extra daylight after work. And these are always after work little segments, so I only have a couple of hours of fish after work. And I hope you guys enjoy. But uh, it just goes to show you that you don't need a, a full day to fish. You can get out and fish after work. I only have one setup today. I know it's going to be a quick session. Um, I got the universal setup. And but check out these rods or the Casking Spiral rods. They're uh, tackle warehouse only. It's the only place you can get them right now. But the stiffness on these things are like, it's amazing for bass fishing, especially here in Florida. So check it out, guys. And I'm sure you would love these rods. This one's a 730 complex composite. That means 30% of it's like a glass composite, 70% of it is like a carbon fiber blank. But this thing is, it's nice, it's stiff, and it's really, really sensitive. And you, you just check online with more features like the spiral, it's called spiral, calls these eyes will spin around toward the bottom of the rail so you have more contact, more sensitivity, and a better hookup ratio. So check it out guys, every bite counts. So let's see if we can get a fish for you guys. Sorry for the long, long monologue. Let's see it at it. The sun's killing my picture quality, so I apologize. Well, let's get you on this side. Maybe you guys can just face me for the rest of the day. Yeah, that's better. The sun's crazy. I'll usually stick into these, uh, I'll stick to points and coves, like little indents and, uh, the way the wind's blowing the current it'll break and those bigger bass will usually hang out and wait so i'll stick it and i'll pick those apart i'll fish everything but i'll pick those mainly apart more than other stuff and uh, we might have to switch to a slow bait only because i'm not getting followers or anything so 
Might have to switch and slow it down. Sometimes you gotta slow her down. This one's all the way up in the middle. <laughs> you never know. I'm in a perfect position right now to set the hook right into the camera. Let's see if we can sneak up on them. Here it goes. They're always up on the bank like that, and a lot of times I end up accidentally snagging them. I've hooked so many carp. That one was big enough that you could see the back out of the water, but I hooked a ton of carp before. All right, right here, guys, we have a wind blown bank. What that means is this wind is blowing up against this bank. So if there's any bait or anything, they're gonna be pinned up in here against this bank. So all the food and stuff will be on that far bank. I already see some birds over there. So hopefully that's a good sign. I think I'm gonna switch to a frog. I think it's frogging time. No luck, so might as well top water it, right guys? Wishing me good luck because <laughs> I ain't got it today. I finally got a bite and he sunk my hooks into my plastic. Yeah, finally got a bite. Ooh. Fires me up. Fires me up, I'm getting too excited. Let's see if I can get them. They seem like a little one, but I don't care right now. I'll take anything. Man, that fires me up. Let's go! Chest mount was not recording, so I did not get the blow up, but oh well, let's do it. Alright, so a good tip for you guys if you ever, ever come to San Destin, Florida or Destin, Florida want to bass fish, San Destin Resort is the place to go. They actually clean a lot of these ponds. They take care of all these ponds. It's almost like they want us to fish them. Um, there's carp, there's catfish, there's ton, like everything blue, big, big bluegill, like giant. Like here's a clip of Harper catching a giant bluegill, but... You're real. Hurry, get him. Get him, look Harper. He's going to break off. Stand down. You're real. You got to reel it. You got to reel him in. He's your fish, you gotta reel him in. Oh, I think we got, wait, wait. Whoa! Oh, wow! Whoa! That's Harper, nice. this is huge! It's bigger than her head! Whoa! Harper, that's huge! <laughs> look at this! Look, look! This is huge! They have giant bluegill, they have tons of stuff. And, uh, I mean, just. Check it out, all these ponds are usually fire. I say usually, I've had one bite, but you never know. Usually you just get one big one by the end of the day. And uh, it's just fun, fun to get out, fun to walk around the golf course. And it's beautiful, so let's catch one. Got another one. There's rabbits out everywhere right now. Too bad it's not wabbit season. Losing daylight, got like 30 more minutes, so let's see what we can get. If I don't catch nothing in all this, this ain't frog heaven. I, I'm just gonna have to retire early. I 
I need to take up uh, turtle turtle fishing. There's plenty of them. Finally got one. Finally, finally got one on top water right before nightfall. Let's let him go back. See you later, buddy. I'm filming on my phone right now too because a uh, camera battery died. But uh, it was it was awesome. Caught one. It was a struggle for sure. Three, two, one, blast off. <laughs>